this it has been two weeks since my last video it's about time for a new one it has actually been longer for a book related one and I'm really sorry that I started this as a booktube and I haven't really had much to talk about and I've been so busy uh, so in the last two weeks I did go to Comic Con but we did have a minor hitch um, we didn't actually know you were meant to pre-order the tickets beforehand I've been going since I was 15, twice a year, so that's quite a few. So, it was the first year that I think they've done it, and we got there, well, actually on the day, someone of my friends messaged me saying, you're not going to get in. Like, they've just tweeted that if you don't have a ticket, they're going to turn you away. So we were like, ah, oh, screw it, we'll go anyway. Otherwise, we're just going to sit at home, feeling cruddy. So, uh, yeah, we went and outside there's loads of cosplayers hang and you get bands and like, you can still buy food and all that. So we just spent the day out there and then we went to Forbidden Planet in London and Tokyo Toys. So it wasn't a complete waste of time and I did spend a little bit too much on comic books. Yeah, I regret nothing. It was actually my birthday last week, so woo, happy birthday to me for last week. I am now 19 years old, but still looking like I'm about 12. Yeah, I've always looked young for my age, you know, I still get away with child's tickets. Probably not for much longer though. I've got piercings and blue hair and people are kind of starting to doubt. I don't know why they didn't doubt in the first place, but I'm not here to ramble. So, people have requested, ow my arm hurts for me to do a book shelf tour and I have a day off work and my arms are really killing me so this is going to be quite shaky I've been carrying so many heavy boxes that my muscles have grown muscles and I didn't have that much muscle to begin with I'm really weak so if this gets too shaky I'm really sorry but people have asked for a bookshelf tour and I have taken photos uh, they kind of changed for a while and people have wanted an actual video so they I don't know, hear me talk about them? I'm just here to give you what you want. So, let's try and get on with it. So, so I'll start with the one right behind me. This was actually, oh, sorry, a bigger bookcase that got sawed down. So it's actually stuck on a shelf. So it sits there. Let me move my phone. Right, so I tried doing rainbow. So it goes purple to red and I've got these funky little bookmarks sticking up to orange to yellow and then I had a slight problem, one didn't fit so I've decided to go down, so yellow to green to blue to long to blue it actually goes up because they were hard back to white to the end and then I got Dan Brown I'm actually missing one Dan Brown books but and it says read more books and magic if we have to play scramble I've got to take them down so we've got Inkheart Hannibal Lecture, I like my horror and all that uh, City of Ember I've just started getting into, I'm currently reading that don't know if you can see my bookmark in there um, I'm missing the third book before any of you smart ass points it out so in there it will go and then you got these down here and then I really enjoy my Stephen King so I'm not even sure what to say in this video but Stephen King down there my brother thought this was hilarious he currently lives in Sweden and I'm sure he's gonna watch this so there I don't know if it's meant to be me hey uh, uh yeah so Stephen King books and go up to Stephen King hardbacks to my death note to a book on space uh, Sherlock Holmes I really enjoy Brother Grimm's um, Disney books that I've had since I was little and a Winnie the Pooh book my friend bought me for my 17th or 18th birthday I'm really sorry I do not remember which one love you so there's these two hardbacks that don't really go anywhere let me just plop that back on there oh ah shit now everything's falling down so, I'm so clumsy it is actually unreal. 
Oh dear. Oh, I'm gonna leave that there. Or we're gonna be here forever. So this is where I normally film my videos. I don't know if you'll recognise that panda thing, the rev. Yeah. And loads of random stuff in here. Uh, these are my vintage hardback books. That's not gonna focus. And now you're gonna get really annoyed with the noise. Yeah. All right. So they're there. They're all really old, and they're actually falling apart. But I find them beautiful, and I've tied them up. A little bit of ribbon. Ah, what's done card? This this is my recent addition. It's some shelving my dad built for me. So all of these, literally all of them, I got for free. I started to talk to I live in a small village kind of area. And I started to talk to a woman at the bus stop before Christmas about books and she said she had I can't remember where it's 35 or 40 something books that she wanted to give to a charity shop but she wasn't sure if they were going to go to a good place. So she literally brought them round to my house in carrier bags and said, here you go, you can have them all for free. And I, was, I, di I didn't know what to say, I couldn't thank her enough. So I, I thought, those are these I got for Christie books. I don't know if it'll focus, yeah. For free. So that ain't bad, is it? You've got classics here. These are really good. I get them on Amazon. They're about $1.99 or $2.99, I can't remember, each. And they're brilliant for students because they have notes in. you got a series of unfortunate events. Uh, hardbacks don't really go anywhere else. My marbles that my sister bought me for my birthday. Uh, these books down the side that don't fit in. And you got... I see what I mean about I'm low on spacing. Uh, horrible histories. And, uh, origin of species. Fact books. Alright. Oopsie. Hello. Uh, yeah, the books down here too. The Inheritance Cycle. I got for Christmas. They don't really go anywhere. They're a bit big. Right. I'm going to attempt to climb the ladder. Ooh, the thing over the mic. Attempt to climb the ladder very slowly. Right. So, I'm just going to show you something. This is literally all the space in my bedroom that I have. And under my bed. And that mat was not my idea. So, this is my last bookcase. So, you've got this alarm clock. I've got another one around here. My boyfriend got me for my birthday. Look at that. They light up in the night to scare the crap out of me. <laughs> and it's so bright. Uh, bookings. So these are my Batman comics. I've only got a small collection at the moment. There's Batman. I'm hanging off my bed. He lights up orange. Uh, yeah, I really enjoy Batman. If you, if you can't guess... That I really like uh, comic books. Oh no, I'm not a nerd at all. No. Okay, right. So you've got the Skullduggery Pleasant series. I'm going to point something out here. The, the top two didn't fit on the shelf. So that's number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, six. Yeah, you get the idea. It's my favourite series of all time, along with Harry Potter. And then these, I kind of jumped on a bandwagon here. I haven't read them yet. But everyone was saying how good they were, so I just thought, I'll give them a try. And these aren't organised in what's to be read and what's read. They're just where space is possible. My little Cybermen and Savine. But yeah, and all these books along here. So, Young Sherlock is a brilliant series. Oh, and I really recommend it to anyone who loves Sherlock. Show up there, and my Harry Potter area. Three guesses what house I am in. So yeah, it's quite that. So that's this bookcase. Change a t-shirt because my camera died, and I wasn't going to wear a shirt and tie for most of the day. I normally do. Today I didn't feel it. Today I feel 
the Gotham t-shirt. So this is a bookshelf tour. Um, hopefully I did everything. Yeah, if you have any more ideas for videos or things you want to see or any books you want me to talk about in more detail, uh, send me an ask on Tumblr. You should know it. There is a link on my channel. Um, yeah, I'm up for asking any questions. That's all I can really say, really. I'm not really good at this kind of talking thing and I put a lot of funny faces, which I realise when I look back on my videos. Bye for now, I guess, until my next video. Happy reading!